Welcome to episode 35 of The Connoisseur. Today we'll be looking at the last release of DuckTales. Not the end of the cartoon, there are still more cartoons, but they've so far been unreleased by Disney, which I kind of have a problem with, but hopefully they'll address it soon. Um, so, episode... No, this is not episode, this is volume 3 of... DuckTales, as you can see, there's Scrooge and the Nephews, Scrooge is voiced by Alan Young, Scrooge does make every rich person on the earth look like a cheap bum, since he has 11 octillion dollars, and uh, the rest of us don't, it's a theoretical number, but a real number all the same, he's reached it, and he likes to enjoy it by swimming in it every day. It's not so much a superpower according to him, but just a trick he learned. A lifetime of soaking in money. So, what episodes do we have? We have Time is Money, Part... No. Right. Duck to the Future, Jungle Duck, Launchpad's First Crash, Diamond Up for Luck, Duck in the Iron Mask, The Uncrashable Hinden Tannic, The Status Seekers, based off of Carl Bark's comic, and nothing to fear. As you can guess from Duck in the Iron Mask and the Uncrashable Hinden Tannic, the writing is smarter than you'd give it credit for when, once you watch it again as an adult. Maybe you disagree with me on that, but I kind of get the jokes they put in there. I hope you do too. It's a great show. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. McDuck, Once Upon a Dime, Spies in Their Eyes, All Ducks on Deck, Ducky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Great title. Till Nephew's Joe's Part, Time is Money, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and Part 5. Now, this section, while it's a good story arc, I do have one problem with it. It introduces a new character that I kind of see why they put him in there, but at the same time, I don't understand why they put him in there. It's Bubba Duck, the cave duck. Um, they introduce him when he officially comes to the present as Bubba Duck, and they do this whole song and dance number, which really reminds me of that Simpsons episode, Itchy, Scratchy, and Poochie. The way they just introduce Poochie, it's like, it's like they would been watching DuckTales and just completely aped that scene. Um, and there's Super DuckTales, part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five. Now this is this is the final episode multi arc that you get and the final episodes of the release DuckTales show. Luckily it's the introduction of another new character, this one I like, Fenton Crackshell. Um he is also known as AKA Gizmo Duck. So we finally have Gizmo Duck in the show. It starts off with this one Carl Barks comic. Then it quickly uh, evolves into this high-paced action adventure uh, with Scrooge McDuck losing his money and Gizmo Duck trying to get it back for him. Gizmo Duck is briefly taken over by Ma Beagle, used to do her dirty work, so she inherits Scrooge's mansion. Then Scrooge's mansion, uh, all his money is sucked into space. Not all of this is completely chronologically accurate, but it does happen in the show. Um, I did make a mistake in my last video by saying the element in time travel was Bombacium, but it was a completely different uh, element. You see, the Bombacium in the use for the time travel was in the form of an ice cream bar, and uh, well, you see, Bombacium in the comic was an element that was used to make a barrel of ice cream per atom or whatever. Just a small script could create a barrel of ice cream, so ice cream, uh, popsicle, whatever. Um, it's the same element, and I should compile a list of all the mistakes I've made over this show, which I will do. So, um... Thanks for stopping by. 
the connoisseur, and all I have to say is pick up those Duck comics, because they are great.